Hi, my name is Laurie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove spit or condensation from your horn. Um, a lot of this depends on the make of your horn. I'm going to turn my horn around just a little bit and show you the path that the spit goes. Um, you're buzzing here, and so the, the water enters through the lead pipe, and if you'll notice, this is the very first crook that it gets to. So you can kind of minimize getting so much water throughout the horn if you dump the, the one closest to the lead pipe fairly frequently. So this one collects, I would say, the most. Now, logically, if I turn my horn this way, then that water should end up in that crook. So I'm going to check and see. And sure enough, there was some. Some horns, especially some of the nicer models, have a spit valve. See, that was on the way to that first crook. So that's another thing I try to empty often. Now, you can see that there are many crooks, and all of these are removable. And, you know, sometimes you're going to get water in ones that you wouldn't expect. So you just remove them, and you put them back together. You want to make sure you have plenty of slide grease on there so that you can get them in and out. In a performance situation, you don't have time to waste. Um, there's also many on this side. Uh, if you hear something when you're playing, when you have that combination, chances are the water's in the third crook. So you can kind of weed it out that way. Um, again, just slide it out and put it back in. And there's nothing like being in a performance and having that nice gurgle sound. So my recommendation would be do your main tuning slides first, and then by process of elimination, you can proceed to the others. Once again, my name is Laurie, and today I showed you how to remove spit from the French horn.